Hey, it's Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine. And I'm going to actually reserve my topic for the end of the video. I want to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about some things. But I will share the topic at the end of the video. So I'm sure that um, all of us have either been to the doctor or know someone who has been to the doctor. And uh, sometimes when you go to the doctor, you have a wonderful, great visit. You, the doctor tells you you're healthy, you're fine, and I'll see you in six months, or I'll see you in five months, or whatever the case may be. But sometimes when you go to the doctor, you will hear one of three things from the doctor. One, you have an illness. Two, we need to do more tests, uh, we need more research, or we need to explore a little bit more. And three, it's terminal. Now, when this happens, you may get mad about the actual diagnosis that the doctor gives you, but you typically don't get angry with the doctor. Even if you decide that you um, would like to have a second opinion, you still don't get angry with the doctor. Um, why is that? I would venture to say that we don't get mad with the doctor because it is understood that the doctor has a greater skill, knowledge, and expertise in a particular field that we don't have. And for that reason, we respect their opinion, we thank them for the diagnosis, and um, because sometimes just the diagnosis alone can be enough to save a life. So we typically you know, thank them for the diagnosis. And then number three, we take the necessary steps for improvement. So I want to repeat those again. When the doctor gives us the diagnosis, we one, respect their opinion. We two, thank them for the diagnosis. And three, we take the necessary steps for improvement. However, in a career business author or entrepreneurial environment, people are typically telling you the same thing that the doctor said. You have an illness. You're cantankerous. You, uh, we need to do more tests. You need more research or you need to explore a little bit more. You need more experience or um, there's a better way to do that. And number three, it's terminal. Uh, you are killing your career and or your reputation. However, instead of respecting, thanking, and taking the necessary steps, we tend to respond with disrespect. Um, we call them know-it-alls. We call them arrogant. We say that they think that they're better than others, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When the reality is they simply have more knowledge, skill, and expertise in an area that you may not. Now, I said that I would save my topic for the end of the video because my topic is really um, professional jealousy, you know, which is actually uh, an oxymoron, you know, a professional by definition is one who is an expert in their work and jealousy by definition means representing uh, not representing but resenting others success so when you put professional jealousy together it really is an oxymoron and the reality is this no matter what circle you travel in no matter what level of education you have no matter what side of the tracks you live on there will always be someone who is smarter than you, wiser than you, um, someone who has already done what you're trying to do, or someone who has just taken the time to perfect their craft. And the reality is, stop shooting the messenger and get the message. At the end of the day, I guarantee you that if you stop taking so much issue with the messenger, you will be able to find that the message that they are giving to you is actually very helpful to you. So I wanted to talk to you all 
about that just briefly today and my hope with um, this video is that we can actually learn to celebrate one another's successes that we can encourage each other to do bigger and better and greater things than what we are currently doing and more importantly that we can be respectful to one another in the workplace um, in social media in um, public places, you know, you run into people sometimes and you're, oh, hi, how are you? Oh, it was so very nice to see you. And then you get away from that person and say, oh, guess who I saw? Blah, blah, blah. Let's just cut that out. You know, everyone is going through their own issues right now. The economy is dictating uh, what a lot of people have to do. People are, you know, getting their business, their hustle, whatever they're doing to make ends meet. So let's concentrate on what's important and leave um, the drama out of the business world. It really has no place in business. All right, so I'm Stephanie C. Harper with Career Magazine.